Bali is a unique province of Indonesia. There is no other place like Bali in this world. A magical blend of culture, people, nature, activities, weather, culinary delights, nightlife, and beautiful accommodation. Bali is rated as one of the best travel destinations in the world. Whatever your age, background, budget or interest, there is something great for everyone to explore and discover. In this video, we'll talk about top 10 best places to visit in Bali. Number 10, Sanor Beach. Quiet Sanor Beach is a popular destination for all the visitors. Located in the village of Denpasar in southeast Bali, which has earned the spot the nickname, Snore Beach. However, that's a bit of a misnomer, as there's plenty to see and do at this beach resort. Sanor has several important historic sites. In addition to the well-kept beach of the area, including the Baliang Temple which contains a column-bearing inscriptions dating back to the 9th century. Once home to the Belgian Impressionist Adrian John Lee Mayer, the nearby Le Mayo Museum features many of the artist's works. Number 9. Nusa Lembongan. Nusa Lembongan, part of the Bali province, is a small island off the southeastern shores of the mainland of Bali. Nusa Lembongan is a popular day trip destination. So small that visitors can tour the entire island on foot in three or four hours. The beaches of the island attracts the most visitors. Mushroom Beach, near the village of Yongat Batu, is named after the mushroom-shaped coral offshore and features powder-soft white sand and clear turquoise waters. Many areas are also good for diving and snorkeling around New Silambangan, with abundant marine life and healthy coral. Surfing can get a little crowded but there are good waves. Number 8, Lavina. Lavina, the largest resort area on Bali's northern coast is best known for the black volcanic sand of its five-mile beach. The area is a popular spot for snorkeling and scuba diving adventures. Encompassing several small villages, as the northern borders are calmer than those to the south. The traditional outriggers known as Perahu are operated by local skippers ready to take visitors to the best diving areas. The calm sea is perfect for swimming and also watching dolphins, making the area an ideal family holiday destination. Number 7, Pura Luhur Uluwatu. Located on the southern tip of Bali, the Bukit Peninsula is home to Pura Lahua Uluwatu, one of the island's nine major Hindu temples. Founded in the 11th century at the edge of a limestone clifftop jutting out over the sea, the temple was built. Although only Hindu priests are permitted into the innermost sanctuary, with or without a guide, visitors are welcome to tour the grounds and enjoy the views. The entrance to the temple complex is flanked by statues of Ganesha, and live monkeys beg visitors for treats. For visitors, dances are performed every evening at sunset. Number 6, Mount Bachur. While it's not the highest point on Bali, Mount Bachur is situated on one of the island's most dramatic landscapes. Dominating the northeastern section of Bali, the 1717-meter or 5,633-foot peak is a sometimes active volcano, that includes four craters, a lake, and several villages. Climbing to the top of Mount Bachur to watch the sunrise is a popular activity. It's a relatively easy climb that anyone in reasonable shape can achieve in around two hours. Visitors also come to Mount Bachur to see Pura Ulan Danubator, one of Bali's nine major Hindu temples. Number 5, Kuta Beach. Once a sleepy fishing village during the 1970s, Kuta gained fame as a great spot for surfing, and since then it has remained Bali's premier holiday destination. Located in the village of Keli Rahan on the southern tip of the island, the long wide stretch of sand is one of the best kept and most scenic beaches on the island. The southern section of the beach known for its active nightlife, is generally crowded day or night. However, a short stroll to the north end of the beach provides visitors with a quiet sense of solitude.
Number 4, Pura Basaki. Located on the slopes of Gunang Agang, Bali's highest mountain, the nine directional temples built to protect the island from evil, are considered the most important of the Kyongan Jagat. Pura Basaki, the temple was named after the god of the dragon the believers say lives in the mountain depths. More than 28 structures constructed on seven ascending terraces are included in the temple complex. The best way to see the site is to participate in an organized tour, as the self-designated on-site guides can be aggressively demanding. Number 3, Semenayak. Located on Bali's southwest coast, Semenayak is a small town that is being covered by the expansive growth of the city of Kuta. Semenayak is one of the island's most exclusive vacation destinations, despite its proximity to Kuta. The city attracts well-heeled travelers from around the globe from its high-end boutiques and five-star restaurants, to its luxury hotels and spas. Semenayak Beach offers visitors panoramic views of the Indian Ocean, and of the professional surfers who flock to this area to ride the big waves. Although the surfing is too treacherous for most swimmers. Number 2, Tana Lot. Tana Lot situated on a large rock is one of Bali's most prominent Hindu temples. For decades, it's been part of Balinese mythology. The temple is one of seven sea temples, to form a chain along the southwest coast of Bali, each within reach of the next. Tana Lot is one of the most popular places to visit in Bali, and particularly in the late afternoons and before sunset, the whole area can be very busy. The area between the car park and the beach adjacent to the temple is a maze of souvenir shops, selling just about every Balinese trinket imaginable. Once visitors have fought their way through the souvenir vendors to the beach, that will see the magnificent temple perched on a rock just a few meters offshore. Number 1, Ubud, perched among the terraced rice fields which climb up the foothills of the central mountains of Bali, Ubud is considered the cultural heart of the island. Ubud is home the most important museums on the island, including the Necker Art Museum with its extensive Balinese painting collection. Every day throughout the area, there are dance and music performances, as well as numerous art galleries and craft shops to explore. Although Ubud has long been valued as a great place to learn about Balinese culture, tourism in Ubud boomed exponentially after it was featured in the book and movie, Eat Pray Love. Fortunately, it only takes a short walk or bicycle ride to escape from the crowds and commercialism. Ubud is surrounded by gently rolling rice paddies which create a beautiful impression of greenness. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked this video hit the like button also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update.